Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to take a look at how to customize the sound that plays on your Ubiquiti G4 doorbell. So when people press the button, the little speaker on the outside there at the doorbell just plays ding dong, right? We, you can change that to whatever you want it to be. Change it to be Christmas music, change it to be whatever you like. We're gonna take a look at that today. Real quick, before we get started with that though, this video is long overdue. I owe someone out there a Amazon Fire 7 tablet. The channel has reached that 250 subscriber mark. My apologies, been very, very busy. Gene L, you are the winner. Please comment on this video. You've got until I make the next video after this. If I haven't heard from you by then, we're gonna go ahead and pick a new winner. Or if you're excluded, right, this is only available to people in the continental United States. In any event, please comment on the video, leave me your email address, I'll get a hold of you, and we'll make it happen. And that's this guy right here. Now, for everyone else that didn't win, stay tuned till the end of the video to find out how you can win one of two Fire 10 tablets that I still have to give away. Let's get started on how to customize the ringtone for your Ubiquiti doorbell. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go over to settings, system, and enable SSH and set your SSH password if you haven't already. Now we're gonna SSH into your appliance and log in here as root. And then the password is gonna be the password that you just changed for the SSH. And we're gonna to change to the Unify OS shell I'll put all these commands down in the description so you guys don't have to worry about trying to read these. As soon as we change into the shell, we're going to want to get nano, which is a text editor so that we can edit our JSON file to enable us to SSH into our doorbells. We're going to edit the config.json file. If your file is blank, then you're going to want to enter exactly as you see here on the screen. If your file already contains information, then you're going to want to add that quote enable SSH line at the very bottom of all the other information that's already in your file. And once you've done that, go ahead and save that file and exit. And go ahead and exit that. Now we're gonna restart our UDM Pro. Then we're gonna go into protect and go over to settings on the left. and scroll down to the recovery code and you're going to set that that's going to be your ssh password to ssh into your doorbells so once you've done that switch over to the devices get the ip address to one of your doorbells that you want to log into and the next thing we're going to do is open audacity you can download that it's free i'll leave a link down in the description Load the MP3 file or whatever audio file you want to use. It's probably stereo. These doorbells are mono, so we're going to use the tracks and mix that down from stereo to mono. And then we're going to use effects and normalize. This is how you control the volume. So you can push this up to zero dB, or you can knock it down as far as you want to go. This will control the volume that this will play on the doorbell when a guest pushes the button. So I'm just gonna go back and knock that down to where it was for my application. That's what negative 20 looks like then, we did zero. So we'll back that change out and then we'll go over file export. Export this as a WAV file. And that's exactly what we want, signed 16-bit. So go ahead and save that somewhere. Don't worry about any of that. And we're gonna use WinSCP, also free. There'll be a link in the description. We're gonna SCP into our doorbell and copy that file over. So IP address, username is UBNT, and the password is going to be the password that you set for the recovery. And then we're going to change to var etc sounds. And I'm just going to rename that error Nokia, which is what I'm using here. I'm just going to rename that to custom.wave. 
Now, do keep in mind that every time the doorbell loses power or you restart the doorbell, you're gonna have to copy this file back in here. This is not a fully read-write partition. Now we're going to SSH into the doorbell, again with username UBNT and that recovery code password that you set. And in the doorbell now, we're going to use VI, which is built in as our text editor. And the file that we're going to edit, I'll leave down in the description so that you guys, again, don't have to try and read the screen here, but it is var etc persistent ubnt underscore sounds underscore leds.conf. And you can see that my file has already been edited where it says uh, sounds underscore ring underscore button. The quotes to the right there, that's the path that you're going to want to enter. The way you change that is put the cursor over the letters that you want to delete and then press the X key to delete those letters. And then once you're finished deleting, press escape to cancel that command. And then you're gonna put the mouse over the period as I have it here. And you're going to press the I key for insert, which will insert before the character that your cursor is on. So then you'll go ahead and type the entire path there to the file. I will leave that also in the description for you so that you don't have to try and pause the video and copy it out of there. And once you've done that, press escape again. And then to write the file, it's colon W, enter, and then colon Q, enter to quit. Now, the other important part of this is we need to reload that configuration file. At the command line, type PS, and then you'll get an output similar to this. And what we're looking for is forward slash bin, forward slash UBNT underscore sounds underscore LEDs. Then the number on the far left is the process ID. So we wanna kill that. And that's just gonna be kill dash capital T E R M and then the process ID. And then you can do PS again to verify that the process ID has changed. That will automatically respawn. You don't have to worry about starting it again. So that's it. That's all you have to do in order to change the sound that plays when someone presses the button on your doorbell. So get something little like this. <coughs> Neat, right? All right. So. Earlier on in the video, uh, I announced the winner of the Amazon Fire 7 tablet. And the way that that person won was when the channel reached 250 subscribers, the next video I made, I'm gonna give this away. Again, my apologies, this video was a little bit overdue, but for the rest of you that have not yet won, I am still giving away two Amazon Fire 10 tablets. When the channel reaches 500 subscribers, I've got one for one lucky viewer then. And when the channel reaches 750 subscribers, that lucky winner will receive not only a Fire 10 tablet, but also a wall mount bracket so that you can mount this on the wall in your kitchen, your bedroom, wherever you like, and control your smart house from there. Works great. I've got one mounted up in the kitchen on the wall and one in the master. My wife and I both love. When the channel reaches 1,000 subscribers, I've got a very special giveaway that I'm gonna do, but you're just gonna have to stay tuned to see what that is. So how do you enter? You need to subscribe to the channel, and you need to like the video, and you need to comment on a video. Now, everyone that's already commented on a video, I, I appreciate the discussion from all of you. Please keep doing that. But you're already entered, so if you don't want to comment, then. Don't, don't worry about it, you're already subscribed and just like the video for me though, right? Help, help out the algorithm so that more people see my content. And again, this contest is only open to people in the contiguous or lower 48 United States. Uh, with the electronics and stuff, I, I don't wanna deal with export law and international shipping and all that, so my apologies. Uh, but because of that, and the fact that, you know, I do get international viewers to comment on videos and stuff, from time to time, there will be a redraw. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned. I hope you're able to implement this and have some laughs at your house. And we will see you next time.